Yo, what's up, guys? My name is Mr. Freeze2244, and welcome to the baneful Alusa Tiger arcade contract. Compl upon completing this, you'll unlock the ancestral fountain pen to be used across all the maps. So, for level one, we have the pharmacist, and the optional objective for this one is we have to eliminate the targets with a lethal poison only. So, the problem with this one, I can't do a default loadout run because you purely because for level one, uh, she does not consume any poison. Uh, consume any like food or drink so it's impossible to do this without a syringe so we need to start at the red carpet we need to along bring along a seeker one and a lethal syringe so this is going to be an optimized routes and uh, equipment guide compared to my default loadout guide because it's not possible to do default loadout guide unfortunately from the very start what we need to do is basically uh, use our seeker on our target it's a bit of a difficult shot from this distance but we can't get too close because uh there's a couple of guards there that can see you. While the guard's standing still, you want to take out uh, the other one. So that's two of them that have been uh, used on, the seeker on. And we're doing that just to cut down the numbers of the guards. That's all. So we're just... Because those two guards are um, bodyguard AI. What do you mean by that is basically they don't get distracted by anything. Uh, they don't get distracted by coins. Uh, they don't res well. They don't respond to guns on the floor. Not to the, the sense where you want them to take it away. They end up calling someone else. I hate this kind of AI on a guard. It's um, really irritating. So we've secured the guard and the target. So the target and the guard is going to come this way. So we're going to drop the seeker on the floor, and the one remaining guard that's following her, he's going to see this weapon, and that's going to give us enough time, a bit of a window to use the syringe on our target. And that's exactly what we're going to do. Because he still has to call that in. So with that amount of time we've got left, and between then and when the next card comes, we have plenty of time to use the syringe on the target. There we go. Take any exit you like. Doesn't matter. But yeah, that's essentially how you do the Salusa target. You can't do this level without using a syringe. You, there's loads of consumable poison. I think there's three. I found I found like uh, three pill poison pill jars. But the target doesn't drink or eat anything. I followed her loop for quite a long time as well. She ends up just looping outside of the party, just fiddling around on her phone, then walking into a private area, and then fiddling around on her phone that comes out. So she's not actually drinking or consuming anything so yeah syringe is the only way to go with this one uh, there's multiple ways of doing it I'm sure but this is the the way I come up with first and it worked out so I thought I'll put it out there so that's level 1 taken care of let's go ahead and move on to level 2 now level 2 we have the angel of death again lethal poison only this one's really easy so we're going to start undercover as the waiter bring along a syringe and that's all you're going to need Good afternoon, Skip the opening we camera, panning shots, the and then just immediately the exit the blend spot, and then follow where I'm going. So what we're going to do is head towards the school, and uh, we, if we're quick enough, we can catch our target before any guards surround her. So again, this is the easiest level out of all three. Really simple, because this disguise is allowed in this school area, so that gives us easy access to get to our target. So we just get around these guards. Climb up this pipe. The hell you doing up there, monkey boy? Now I'm going to walk along these ledges to get in this area. Our target should be by the wall. It doesn't matter if she sees you, but just get behind her real quick and then just use this syringe on her. So inject the syringe. Don't have to worry about hiding the body because, you know, it's a poison kill. Target eliminated. So it doesn't matter if the body is found. It's not going to spoil your silent assassin brain. So we're essentially just going back the way we came, sliding back down the pipe, and heading to an exit. Really easy. Can't go wrong unless you're walking. So that's the only thing that can go wrong, really. Is like if you if you don't uh, if if you don't basically run all the way like there, like I've done, and you leave it too long, there's two guards that come upstairs and basically escort her around town. That's not what you want to happen. So it's best to get her nice and early, real quick, easy. Out of the way. Done. Yeah, it's just a little bit frustrating that I couldn't do it uh, default only. 
It's purely because of level 1. There's no more, no point me doing default for level 2 or 3. When I've already done it for 1, it's no point at all. Wouldn't make any sense. So let's just get a confirmation of that silent assassin. Then we move on to level 3. Alright, moving on to level 3. We have the Heartbreaker. So again, lethal poison only. This one is really easy as well. So we're going to start at the winery of viewpoint. And we're going to use a 47 signature suit. Fireball white coin, all that kind of good stuff. We don't need anything else. This is essentially a default loadout run for this level 3. So, But immediately we're just going to go ahead and knock out this guard and take his disguise. Best disguise on the map. Take his weapon as well. You can drag his body over here a little bit if you'd like. Although you can just leave the body there if you want. It doesn't get found anyway, so don't worry about it. I advise you not to drop the gun anywhere because uh, then his body will get found because they'll go, they'll go and alert a guard or by that office. And I think that's a crate in there where they take weapons anyway, so best to take this rifle with you. So if you're wondering where the poison's coming from, it's going to be a lethal poison consumption. And luckily, our target has left us a little treat in his van, which has left us some lethal poison and some nice documents. So once we're in his area, we can watch out for this enforcer, wait for him to go past, open the van, take the lethal, lethal poison Evidently, pills, and take the document prepared. that's inside the van. And what have we here? Once we've done that now, we can enter the main the area of Mendoza. So the target's going to be down there near the dance floor. He's going to be a bit accompanied by two females. And you just need to talk to one of the females, give them the document. And what that's going to do is basically separate the two females from him. So he's all on his own. So give one of them the documents. There you go. They both tell him that they've got to go. And he walks off down into the, the cinema area. And what we're going to do is poison a glass of wine that's down there, which he is going to consume. Nice and easy. The only downside to this strategy is that there's a little bit of waiting at the end. Once we get down to about halfway down the stairs, what we're going to do is just crouch and chuck a coin in the opposite direction. We just want to get everyone to turn around before we poison this glass, because we don't want to get spotted as we're poisoning this glass of wine. And that's it, really. Essentially, you just gotta you can have a hang around and watch it happen, or you can just head straight to an exit. And heading straight to an exit is exactly what I'm going to do. At the end of this, I'm going to show you exactly what the Ancestral Pen looks like. I'm going to show you what it looks like in action as well. And go through the description of it so you can see exactly what it's all about. It's really for those people that couldn't get the regular Fountain Pen that was unlocked in Miami. But that was unlocked with the Undying Elusive Target. And because that's not returning, uh, we unfortunately have to unlock it a different way. But I'm going to show you the, both of those pens as well. And you can compare the two and see what the differences are. I mean, they they act the same way, they just look different, that's the only thing. But personally, I can't really see a use for a item like this. Um, but, I don't know. Maybe someone creative can come up with something different. Target eliminated. Expect the client's payment and a tasteful thank you card shortly. And there we go. Again, there's a little bit of waiting around at the end, a minute and a half or so. But it's easy enough, and you'll get the challenge completed for you, as well as the ancestral pen. So there's my zero score for some reason. I don't know why this glitch happens. But yeah, that's Silent Assassin. That's the ancestral fountain pen. Make your enemies literally explode with creativity with this wonderful little fountain pen. It will make the written word deadlier than one would think. So this is what it looks like in-game. And this is what it looks like in comparison to the regular fountain pen that we unlocked with the Undying. And in-game itself, it looks actually quite huge in 47's hand. That's what she said. Uh, but once you... Uh, well, this is how it works. I'm guessing they tried to go with like a James Bond kind of like tool with golden eye inspiration. But I really don't see a use for that. But that's both pens. They work exactly the same way. You don't have to throw it at their head, of course. You can just throw it next to them. 
But sometimes I wish you could just turn that, when it, not when it snaps onto and locks onto the targets, I wish you could turn that off. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video if it helped you out. Subscribe if you are new to the channel and hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos and live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching. I will see you in the next Elusive Target arcade video, which is coming up soon later on today. Cheers.